have a few key bills that we are watching, you know, certainly budget and tax, these are big areas. Uh, we've already seen some budget activity at the legislature this session. The governor vetoed a budget package that came down for, or came up from the legislature earlier this year, but we're gonna be watching for a negotiated budget that we will expect later this session. That's something we'll be monitoring closely. Um, from a tax perspective though, there's a number of bills that we are already taking positions on. And a few key ones include Senate Bill 1276, which is a assessed valuation class one property. That is a bill that we support. This is a bill that accelerates the reduction of class one property to 15 percent beginning in 2025. It also establishes a new table of depreciated values for certain types of class one, two, and six personal property beginning in 2024. We also support Senate Bill 1260, small business income tax rate. Again, we support this bill. This is a bill um, that actually reduces the small business taxable income rate to 2.5% beginning in 2023. Instead of 2025, this will align that tax rate to the individual income tax rate, which we know in Arizona has already been reduced to 2.5%. And then a final bill, and we do this bill all the time in Arizona, it seems really kind of just mundane, non-controversial, but it's actually really important. And that's our internal revenue code conformity bill. And this is where we make certain our tax code in Arizona is in alignment with the internal revenue code. Um, and that's just to make certain that our when our taxpayers in Arizona go to complete our taxes, it is as simple and straightforward as possible.